Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your Not Your Weekend Reading. This is a special holiday read. 12 cards for Christmas. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But at the same time, watch any of the Zodiac this past week. Each title, okay, if it connects with you, that's you. Just letting you know. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So go to the Aries, go to the Leo, whichever. Watch the title, and then if that's the title it's meant for you, you will connect with it, okay? So let's see what's going on for the Pisces and Moon Rising. It's a verse deck, so I'm going to flip it at the next six. The first six, we'll see here. The other six is another standard read. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Pisces, here we go. Oh, let me see. You have your first card, Ace of Pentacles. King of... Oh, this is a Queen of Swords. Okay. Nine of Swords. Page of Swords, a lot of air. Queen of Pentacles. The Moon, which is you. You know, when I say with the Moon card, I mean, if, it, if your card shows, then let me see now. The rest of the six. Wow, four of wands in our extended read, guys. Very positive. Okay. High Priestess. The, the Knight of Swords. There again. Page of Cups. Hierophant. Ooh, this is gets interesting now. And your last card, Knight of Cups. All right, that's a good for the extended. Anyhow, okay, so Pisces, are you ready? Okay, this is your lowdown. Here we go. I like, <laughs> anyhow. Ace of Coins. Maybe an earth sign, of course. You made an offer. Is this you? Yeah. You made an offer, but it was left out in the air. It was one, it's one of those things where, um, you, know, you know what? I'll keep myself open to the opportunity or to the connection with this person. I'll, you're leaving things up in the air. No certainty. No, you know, no high, high expectation. You just basically either put yourself in a, in a dating scene or with this person, you're just open. Like, okay, right, well, if it's good, if it's ma gonna manifest, mm, it's, you know, it is what it is. You're giving, you're giving the energy a chance, yes, and you're giving the person a chance there. When you made this offer, because it's up in the air, so that's why I guess, you know, when that term with it, because it's an air sign, no. Made that offer. The person's guard went down. Cause they see you as how you are so open about it. It's almost like you're you're vulnerable, yes, but vulnerable in the sense like, well, they're not they're not there to hurt you. That's why you said it's like I'll give it a chance. When you gave this person a chance Okay, and you let your guard down, they let their guard down. Things started feeling or, you know, you started thinking, it's like, was this right? Like, those are all the, the swords there. Those are all the things that you were discussing with this person. Each sword is communication, so every time you communicate, it creates more more and more doubt that was it even right that i gave this person basically my the key to my heart or something like that you know like i was i opened up to this person was it you know was it the right time was it you know or did i say the right thing when i when i explained myself because you explain yourself and then your questioning is like was it like is is it did i do it right the only reason why I'm saying like you ask me if you do it right because the next is the page of swords so they're the queen and you're a page what I'm sensing. The way that you communicate with them it's like it was either too fast and it just you just bleb it out you just open your mouth and then it's not about saying it's like oh I like you you know not like that you basically told them it's like I'm open for this and that's where you get the paranoia it's like oh my god. I just opened Pandora's box. I haven't let I haven't allowed anybody to get this close to me, but I did. Okay. 
And from them with the Queen of Swords, they change. They have the Queen of Pentacles. What you have offered with here, they change. They became what you have offered. Now, what does it mean? They accepted it. They went along with it. And they liked it. When they like what you have, you know, put out in the air, you know, if it's just casual, then it's like, okay, you know what, let's do casual. Or if we're just seeing each other like this, and we we'll just see each other like this. Yeah. You, know? you became this. I'm just sensing you became complete. I'm just saying that because the moon is you. So if you're there, there, then... You know, for the longest time, you never either felt home. That's what when I'm saying, like, you're you. It's like, you felt home. Like, this is home. Like, this person, you know, not that you're coming home with them. <laughs> if you do, then, you know, it's your choice. But you felt at ease there. You felt at ease with the connection coming from a Nine of Swords. Even though you did a Page of Swords, you felt at ease. I'm safe. And the whole time I thought I was in danger. And the whole time I thought I did wrong. The whole time I did something. You were panicked there. You really panicked. And that pentacle over there, I'm sensing, that offer became emotional. First card to the last card. And this spread. It became emotional. From something logical, it became emotional. Okay? Sorry about that. Now I'm going to continue this reading by CN. As how it pans out further with the remaining six cards for your holiday read. Thank you very much for watching. The link is down there, the show more box for the extended read. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday, and I'll see you guys again. Bye.